Hey doing, welcome to Crushable. I'm Drew. I'm not a beer expert, but I have said, watch this, hold my beer. Uh, I'm joined here today with Brian, and he threw down a challenge, and we present the Camping Beer Challenge. Take it away, Brian. I'm your co-host, Brian. I'm not a beer expert, but I have a Yeti cooler with a bunch of cool brewery stickers on it. This is the Camping Beer Challenge. Drew and I are going to pick five of our most favorite crushable beers that we like to take on camping trips. We're going to have a blind taste test. And we're going to assign points one through five to each of the beers that we chose. We're going to give out some bonus points too. If Drew and I pick the same beer, we're going to give that beer an extra bonus point. And if we can guess the beer we're blind taste testing, that's an extra point as well. At the end of this, we're going to tally up the points and we're going to name our most crushable camping beer as champion. Now when I say camping, I mean taking your family or your buddies or even yourself up to the cabin, the mountains, or the lake. Not tailgating, not to the beach. I think those are different kinds of beers. Now a couple rules for our challenge. Maybe not rules, but suggestions. Rule number one, these beers have to be easy to find. This means you can walk into a 7-Eleven, a gas station, any local chain grocery store, or even that country store that you're scared to be in and find this beer relatively easy. You're not going to wait in line for a can release. You're not going to go to Total Wine and search this beer down. This is not a seasonal. This is available all year round and easy to get. And it's relatively affordable. You're not spending $40 on a case of beer. Rule number two. These should probably be cans and not bottles because it's easier to pack in and pack out cans. These are a lot more collapsible than these bottles. We like our environment, so we're going to pack in our stuff and pack out our trash and take care of business. No fancy shit. Lastly, these seem to be a reasonable ABV. This is an Aslan Pinkies Up Quintuple IPA. This is an 18% ABV. You're not gonna crush a six pack of these. Challenge accepted. Because the bears will get you. The bears. All right, so we've all selected, Drew and I have selected our five favorite beers that we like to take camping. I've already laid out the rules. Here they are, five and five. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do a blind taste test. One through five, he's gonna taste mine, I'm gonna taste his, he's gonna guess what he thinks mine are, I'm going to do the same for him, and then we're going to assign points based on what we think the best beers are. So one for the least favorite, five for the most favorite, rack them up here. At the end of the day, we'll crown our crushable camping beer cha uh, champion. Right, and if we need a tiebreaker, we got TK standing Woo! by behind the camera. Y'all suck. Yeah. All right, All right. Let's, let's let it rip. So right. rack them up. Rack them up, okay. I'm going to start pouring mine, and you can pour yours. You try my one, and okay. I'll be drinking your one. Perfect. There we go. I don't even know what to guess for that one. That's a problem with guessing these beers is that I have no idea. I've tried like 3,000 beers. You've tried like... 3,000 beers. 3,000 beers. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. This is... Uh, I mean, looking at the color, I, I'm guessing it's a lager. It's not very malty. It's not an IPA. No guess is fine. No guess is fine. <sighs> It's like going, going it's for two. The go for two. Thing. Go for two. <laughs> going back in. I don't know. What did you think on mine? That one. That one's probably tough. Yeah, it's kind of uh, kind of boring. Yeah. Hmm. But I, I guess know. I guess that was part of the challenge, just to make it. I'm cool. gonna hold my guesses to the end. I think. Okay. All, All right. right. So twos. Here two. Well, this is stinky. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I recognize this. It's delicious. It goes down smooth. It's yeah. Cold. It's, it's <laughs> wonderful. It may taste similar to this. Try that one. <laughs> I, I'm gonna put this one. So my guess. Two. Yeah. D4 is Miller Lite. <laughs> yeah, Miller Lite D4. Maybe a good guess. Maybe. It's 
not boding well for a really good beer to be the champion. That's your five, or is that three? It says five on the top. I know what this is. <laughs> D3, Natterday. Uh oh. Made it too easy. So this is five on the top of the can, but is your bottle really five? I'll, I'll leave you to guess that. <laughs> because it's third and it's right in the middle of all things, I'm going to go. Oh, you know what? You're right. I mislabeled them. <gasps> but did you pour them in the right? Okay. Yep. Okay. So no, right. number good five. Good catch. Good catch. Bloodline. Good guess. That's a... You're back to three now. Yeah. Mm. All right. On the D4. This is really light. Mm. Look at that color. It, I still think it's a lager, but it's real. We all picked really light beers. Yeah. I might spell this wrong. But... That's yingling. Like... He says yingling. Close as, as long as you can pronounce it, it's close enough. <laughs> so this has got some hop to it. Hmm. I, I think it's something by Sweetwater. I don't think it's 420, but I'm going to put 420 for lack of anything better. <laughs> Let's see. This was in a can. God, man. This would throw me for a loop. I'm going to guess Bell's Too Hard at Ale for number five. Hmm. Now we're down to the last guess. The you guys got two, you still got a guess on Yeah, that. I got a guess D1 and D2. Two. And A is an acceptable answer. It's really, it, it's got that like bitter finish, but it's like the leather. It is okay if you don't know the mm. answer. Yeah, and A for one and two. What's your final guess for number one for me? All right, so for number one, oh, I hate putting an NA. Part two, rank my five beers. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, five being the best, one being the worst. Mm -hmm. Points, right here. Points, right here. Points, okay. So, um, let me give this a one. Uh, we'll go two, three, four, five. I'm biased. Turn? My turn. I know. I love Natterday. I'm pretty sure this is Natterday. <laughs> That's my five point here for you. I'm gonna go four points for number five because it was good. Miller Lite gets a solid three points. I can't guess what the number one and two beers you have. Oh, sure. are. Just retest one and two. So I'm just all right. Just Thank retest you. one and two. Yeah. Thank you. Give me a fresh four here on one. Oh, that's good. I like one. Got a little bit of sweetness. I haven't had it in a while. Number one is super malty and very good. Yeah. Number one, yeah, gets two points. And then one point for number two. All right. Okay, the reveal. We'll start with the one we all know. Uh, yeah, it, it's definitely Miller Lite. And as soon as I tasted uh, what I think is your Miller Lite, I looked at the can tops. <laughs> I was like, yeah, boy. <laughs> Um, I honestly, um, this beer is probably like my number one. This is, yeah. this is my first, you know, the popped my cherry, had my, <laughs> had my best and my worst nights chugging Miller Lite. Uh, as far as camping beer goes, it's premium. Agreed. There was a trip we were on. We were, we cheaped out and we bought Ginny Light because it was like $15, a 24 pack. And, uh, I guess we had some extra funds and. We had bought one case of Miller Lite, and we had been pounding Ginny all day. And when we switched to Miller, it was like breathing air again. <laughs> it was like, oh my god, this is beer, instead of like corn malt. So, yeah. Uh, okay. Miller Lite was number four. This will throw you for a loop because... Well, I'll sign your points there, brother. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep in mind, camping beer. Camping the mountains, the lake, not the beach, not a tailgate, camping. Camping beer. All right. Gave it a number five. Number five was Flying Dog. So four so points for that one. Four points right. for Flying Dog. Bloodline. This. Third favorite. Yeah. And you didn't have a guess for this one. We've been to this brewery twice. In New York City. Oh. 
I have a shirt. Brooklyn Lager. Yes. One of my favorite beers. Yeah. Very drinkable. Um, you know, uh, almost available in probably 25 states at this point. Uh, maybe regionalized to the East Coast, but Brooklyn Lager. Brooklyn Lager coming in with three whole points. Very good choice. Yep. Yeah. My number two, which uh, is an absolutely enjoyable. Like if this was hot day, hot sun, cornhole beer, this might have been number one. But sometimes when you're camping, it's not as, it's not as hot. Natter but day. Yeah. Natter day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Strawberry pencil shavings all day long. <laughs> Gotta love it. Uh, Natter days gets my, my two points for camping beer. And last but not least, uh, my least favorite. My least favorite of the camping beer choices. Yep. This was tough. I had a hard time finding a fifth. Uh, I went with Dale's Pale Ale. I figured I wanted to vary the styles. Uh, you know, get a little bit of hops in the equation you because picked, nothing else is. You picked this because you're in a grocery store and there's nothing else to buy. It got one point. One point. Ooh boy. Yeah. So not looking good for Dale's Pale Ale, but. Hey. All right. All right. Let's. Uh, you take it away with your reveal. I was slick, and I numbered mine one through five okay. based on my favorite. There we go. Number five, my least favorite camping beer, the Shoots from oh, Squeeze IPA. Okay. And I rated this fifth favorite because it's a little heavy and it's a little harder to find. Oh, hmm. Number four, my fourth favorite camping beer. I know what this one is. Let's have a guess. Is it Ponytail? It is not Ponytail. <laughs> It is. Oh, all day. Founders. Founders said oh. all day. I get it. Yeah. The reason I chose this is because it's a good, good drink. It's not yeah. quite an IPA. You can get it in these tall boys. Yeah, I almost went with that, but I didn't got it. get it. <laughs> I took Brian's rules to heart. Like, yeah. Twelve ounce cans. Pack it in. Pack it out. Yes, understood. Very good. Number three. Oh, we gotta sign points here. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Well, go ahead. Go ahead. Sign your points. So you did. You did one, two, yep, three, four. Makes that pretty easy. Yeah. All right, third favorite, and this unfortunately was only available in a bottle at my grocery store, but this is Fat Tire Amber Ale. Uh, okay. Ooh. It's hard to find the cans. Yeah, my second I've choice, seen it. My second choice, TK, if you can grab it from the cooler and toss it to me. Brown can. This is my alternate choice. Oh my! I appreciate it. <laughs> Yingling Lager was my backup, but it's only available on the East Coast. 24 states though. Still not bad. But still, I think it, it would have fit. If you're camping in California, you're shit out of luck. Well, then you you have other options, but... I had a friend from a Maryland store and just made I, them you know, try honestly, all the way out to California. It tasted enough like the Yingling. I thought they're, it was Yingling. They're, they're yeah. shoe-ins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second favorite beer of the camping challenge for me. Miller Lite. Trusty. Rose! It's good. My favorite camping beer. You ready for this? Yeah. And I, I have no idea what it is. Sierra, Sierra Nevada? Nevada. Oh, yeah. yeah! Woo! Why? Why is this? Because you can get this. Yeah. Pretty everywhere. much everywhere. Yeah. This is a beer that you can get at every anyway. single place. This is a beer you can get at almost every single place. Yeah. That's my favorite yeah. camping beer. It's not quite an IPA, but it's uh, it's got a lot of flavor. It's not a light beer. It's, it's, a, it's a good middle. As the audience, as of one, that is my favorite type of panel. I was wrong on all my guesses. We were. Oh, oh I got one. Got a point. So point there. We used to guess Miller Lite. So. <laughs> the only guess. Because we have no class. The math. The math is happening, Drew. Oh my god. Okay. Uh. It's not even close. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, so top three are Miller Light, Miller Light, mm. Bloodline, and Natter Days. So, there you go. That's our top three. Right I know. There. I'm happy you because know, yeah. Natty Light, so these are like Miller Light, yeah. Camping Beer Challenge. Can we get some pizzas in here? Pizzas? Yeah. Throw up chairs in the freezer. Do you need me to show you how to work the oven? <laughs> Bye! Alright, that was TK's time! TK's time! <laughs>
Hello, I, yes, I'm here. I am fabulously here. We didn't exclude him. This was just, you know, I I, like, I've known this man since like third grade, so he, I know. he wanted to be on here and he came up with this thing and he okay. was here to supervise Thank and make sure we did it right. Let me no, like, host. no, absolutely. We're yeah. as partners as crushable. We are an equal opportunity crew. Grab, grab your bear. What's your bear's name? Boo Boo Bear. Boo Boo Bear. This is the most precious bear I've ever seen in my life. Choose your favorite beer, TK. Your favorite camping beer. What would you choose on a camping trip? <laughs> I love TK! There we go. And as always, please drink, drink responsibly. responsibly. Clean up your trash. Save okay. the earth. Hey, right, like, comment, subscribe. subscribe. Nah! <laughs> drink beer. Only you can for four times.